So let's now get back to the unit testing and what we are going to test here. You know, we have this user model and I'm going to write a test for the full name of the user. So it's like a, we are testing for a single feature. This means this need a unit testing. So on this unit testing, we have this example test, but why not create a unit test? So I will say PHP artisan make test. And if you don't know how you can write for unit testing, just get the help. And to write a unit test, you just have to give this flag. So once more, and test is uh, user test or we can say user model test and because we want this to be unit test so unit and which is created and yes here we have user model test so the test which has to be going to test that user uh, has full name attribute this is the test and we know we need to give test here on the doc box or otherwise we can uh, just prefix it with test so let's just run this because this is just asserting true so surely it will pass this so if i press command r or control r yes it is passed but now what we need first thing first we need to create a user then we are going to assert that user has full name user has full name and to create a user we need to use the user model so i will say user is equal to user model and you can import it at the top then create and inside this we need to pass the name which is has to be sarthak and then last name last name which is Srivastava and then email we need which has to be uh, let's say sarthak at bitfumes.com and the last one password so password is a secret okay so let's see what will be the result but if I run this no assertion but if I run this it says okay but incompleted risky test why is that this test does not perform any assertion so you need to perform an assertion so what I'm going to assert I'm going to assert that like this arrow assert and assert equal what are the two things we need to make equal the user full name and full name is Sarthak space S-H-R-I-V-S-T-A-V-A this has to be equal to user arrow full name this exactly we want so if I run this test and before running I can show you that I have a database called testing and I have connected that on our .env file and the database is this so let's say I will run this test and we know this test fails and the reason for this is that fail to assert that null matches expected Sartak Shrivastu. So here this thing user full name is giving error because it says that you don't have any full name attribute. So let's go to user model and I will click directly just by pressing command and let's create a function here. So public function full name and let's say it going to return uh, only Sartak not Sartak Shrivastava so let's just go here and run the test control R mm -hmm. again it fails and this time it's saying lots of things and the problem here is duplicate entry for Sartak at bit fumes here we have some serious problem you know when I run the test first time on our database a new entry is created why is that we are just going to test thing we don't want our database to filled with just test data so there are two things to deal with this you know you can use a trait a trait which is called use database transaction 
so database transaction trait I have used and by doing this what it will do whenever it run the test yes entry is created but as soon as the test completes it roll back everything or every entry is now deleted after the test so let's just see what this database transaction is all about so if I click on this database transaction trade by pressing command and then click it will open that file and it has one function which says begin database transaction and after that it will before application destroy it will close everything and roll back everything so this is good and this is exactly we want so now if I run this test yes again I will get error of the same thing because we have the entry here so let's just delete it and let's try once more this time again we are getting error but this time is not for the duplicate entry the error is for something else which we will check but before that let me show you here on our database that if I refresh this you can see I am refreshing but there is no entry and this is cool thing and the problem for the test failing is that full name must return a relationship instance so here it's not returning any relationship instance so why not use it like like an accessor so get full name attribute and now if I run the test we will get another error and this time it says exactly what we want it says expecting Sarthak Srivastava but only getting Sarthak so to just pass this test we can just return here Sarthak SHRIVSTAVA and if I now run the test you can see this test passes this means it ensures that the user model has full name attribute this is cool but instead of doing this because we are having name and last name so why not change our database migration for the user table and instead of name here I will call it first name and last name and here I will say php artisan migrate fresh so it will roll back everything and again create so that we have the table and now let's go here and instead of doing these thing I will use concatenation so here uh, this arrow first name and then we need to give a space this arrow last name and this is the thing we need so run the test hmm it's it fails you know why it says unknown column name in the field list because we are just passing name here so let's call it first f i r s t run the test once more and this time we are getting different error first name doesn't have a default value hmm what is going on here and because we are using mass assignment here we need to go to user model and in this fillable part we need to firstly say it's a first name then we need a last name also so las last name and this time if I now go refresh and run the test it passes and this makes sure that user model always have a full name attribute attribute naming uh, full name okay and this is the way we can test a simple feature of anything so this is good but you know it uses database transaction but while using database transaction I have also seen one more trait that's called database migration so in the next episode we will try to reduce these things and we will use the factories and that will make our life more easier and clear tests so we will meet in the next episode but if you have not subscribed to bitfumes channel go and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter linkedin instagram and share this video with your friends so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye